Hey, what's up, guys? It is your boy Medid Garlica, or aka your boy Metal. And since it's Sunday, it is another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gun review. And in this one, we have the Razorback. It's uh, some, some machine gun, of course. You guys know this, but his uh, attachments I have on this gun I have Elo Strike, which again. You could have a um, side of your choice. I just prefer the Elo sight because it's small. And it's good. Rapid fire, just because the rate of fire isn't all, all there. You know, so just that speed is all that we need. Then I got grip. Because, you know, when you have rapid fire and grip, there's going to be a, a necessary thing. Quick draw. Just to aim down side faster and secondary, you could just put up whatever you want, a uh, pistol, whatever, boom. I run flak jacket, hardwired, and dead silence. So this is uh, the setup of the gun, so let's get right into the review. See you guys in the gameplay. Alright, so we are back with the Razorback gameplay, now let's talk about the pros and cons of this gun. Some of the pros that, that I think or with this gun is the Razorback is a really good weapon to use when defending close objectives because it's just effectiveness to the mid range and long range like I guess zones or combat areas like the range of this gun and I guess a summary of what I just said is the range of this gun is amazing like range is everything for a submachine gun and the Razorback has extremely good range for its, for its class Another pro is that has really low recoil. Where it's not like super low, but not as much recoil as like the VMP or maybe the Vesper, right? You know, you know what I mean. Another pro is the ammo's not that bad. It's 30 round. That's average for every, any gun. So no, ammo's not bad. The rate of fire is horrible. I'll just tell you that right now. The iron sights are actually really good on this gun also, so you guys could you don't need an optic for this just because the iron sights itself are fairly decent on the gun. And one, I know I'm missing one more pro, is I want to say, it, yeah, yeah, okay, got it. It's uh, the damage of it is actually pr fairly decent. I like the damage on the gun. The damage is actually it's a four shot kill. So no, if you shoot them four times, they're you know, four shot kill. Like I said that already. So the damage is also another pro. Yeah, so those are the pros of the gun. So it's the range, the recoil, and the damage. Which, like I said, if you didn't hear me the first time, because my mic again is a piece of shit right now. But the damage is really good at the four shot kill. You know, it's that's really good or it's decent. It's not bad. Let's get on to the con of the gun. Everyone knows this. The rate of fire. The rate of fire on the razor back is extremely, extremely crappy. It's the uh, six hundred twenty five RPM. Which is that's how fast it shoots, and it's not fast for a submachine gun. Maybe for an assault rifle, would be it'd be normal or light for a light machine gun, but not for this. That's really the only con of the Razor Pack. It's just the rate of fire on this gun. Besides that, it's a extremely extremely good gun. Right. So I think the only con that I know of of the Razor Pack is just. The freaking rate of fire, bro. That's basically it. And you no, know, the ammo could be better, but you know they're not gonna add ammo to a gun. That just that will just make it overpower. So you have extended mag. But if you, you could just boom, hot on that on rapid fire, and this gun's perfect. So yeah, that's been the rage back pros and cons. Those little, you know, just really a perfect gun just the fucking rate of fire the reload times also not that bad that's another thing when you like aim down sight that could be a little slow in my opinion 
But besides that, those are like small things. This is just an overall review of the guns, so I guess I will let you. Nah. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep on talking out of my ass here. No, I'm just joking, but okay but now what I what do I think about the gun? I think this is one of the best submachine guns in the game, you know, besides the CUDA, the VMP, the Razorbacks, those are top three. This is a fairly underrated gun also. You don't see a lot of Razorbacks out there. But you know, I recommend every single one of you try out this gun setup. Let me know in the comments below or comment on my Instagram. Just what, what do you guys think about this setup? Is it good? Is it bad? But I think this is a, a really, really good gun. The Razorback is, you know, it's amazing. What's all I got to say, man? Like, dude, the Razorback is fucking amazing. I recommend it to every single person. Even if you, don't, even if you do not use submachine guns, try this gun out. It has like an assault rifle feel to it, but also that little submachine gun. You know, it's like a, it's a hybrid. There you go. So, you know, try out this gun. Let me know what you think. But, you know, god damn, it's fucking amazing. I'll let you enjoy the gameplay. You know, just see what, what I did with this gun. This was, I think, like a 34 and 4 gameplay or something. Right, I I had to let myself die because I ran out of ammo for my um razor back, but I'll be right back. In Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed that little minute or two of just pure game. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not really to make you laugh like maybe some of my other videos. But if you guys want need this gun to get if you guys need to get the gun gold, you know, for that dark matter. Oh I hope this this video helped you. And I hope this class setup brings up your KD. Or, you know, whatever. I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Found it useful. Maybe enjoyed it. I try to put some humor in these. I don't want to make them boring. But yeah, if you haven't entered my giveaway yet, you could just. It's uh, my last video that I just made. I think a few days ago. Go go get that. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel. It's the Magic Arctica. See you guys later. Peace.